knocking it about. Go! And that's a terrific shot. Everyone up on the offside. And Afridi gave himself a bit of room and played it beautifully. Oh, that's well played. It's a good touch from Afridi. Has he got enough of it? Yes, he has. Boundary four. Third man was up and Mills did the mistake of providing him a little bit of width. Just a little dab and he bisected the, both the fielders perfectly and he sped away. No chance. Oh, Milne did his best, didn't he? And that boundary from Afridi proves that he's not all about power. There's a bit of finesse there too. And that brings up the 150. Pakistan now 152 for six. Well, if you bowl at 150 kilometres an hour and the batsman gets a nick with no slips in position, you're almost guaranteed a boundary. That's what Shahid Afridi has got there. It's the power play. And he was looking for power down the ground, Afridi. Outside edge, exactly where slip would have been. No slip. Dainty. It's gone fine. Kyle Mills thought it was just off the pad. Joel Wilson disagrees. He says there was some bat involved. It's gone for four. Clever. Very clever. Street smart is uh, Shahid Afridi. Oh, yeah. Off the bat. I don't know what Kyle Mills was thinking. Because it's a late call, late reaction from him. Yeah. Well crafted by Shahid Afridi. Yeah, and they love it. At this stage, I, I meant age-wise. Pulled away powerfully into the gap between deep mid-wicket and long on. Four more. He's delivered on that uh, shot. It's his reputation, and I think Daniel Vittori just overreading the situation. That's what you tend to do against Shahid Afridi because he's threatening to hit you. Dropped it short, and Shahid Afridi stood where he was and banged it past mid wicket. He's a powerful striker. 69 or 74 balls has been outstanding. And then the gap again, it's another two. But the best part of it, Danny, from a Pakistan perspective. There's been very few risks. Ah! He's looking for it. Yeah, he knew it. That length, gonna go. Well, it's a very smart shot, this one. He knew the man was up. All he had to do was hit it over Ross Taylor's head. And he did that easily. Dan Vittori, it's not often you see him bowl without a deep backward square, but of course the rules nowadays or yeah there's the 50 and there's the roar from this crowd he'll come back get to 51 they're on their feet in the dugout and in the stands and he applauds his partner well played shy to Freedy. well that's been an intelligent innings look at that 37th 50 in all of those 385 odis He's heard you. Has he got enough? I don't know. This should be taken. No, it won't. He got enough on it. There's the driver for Scotty Styrus. 11 off. 226 for six. The 100 partnership as well. Short pumped. Oh, yes, please. This is a Freddy of old. Oh, square legs up and the bouncer went straight over his head nobody there and all too easy really and in the end having thought New Zealand had this game in the bag Pakistan are probably going to do this comfortably giant gone I reckon direct hit is he in or out let's have a look we're going to come upstairs very tight and Joel Wilson says, I just want to check this upstairs. 
Well, is this another one of these suicide singles that he's just chastised his partner about? Yes, and he's a long way out. And I'd imagine third umpire Richard Illingworth will have no troubles in putting O-U-T out up on the big screen. And there it is. It's going to take a lot to win it from here, but is that the wicket that changes the course of the match? Well, I doubt it. He's furious with himself more than anything else. He wanted to see it home. The shard of Freedy. Wonderful hand, though, from the old gun. 61 from 51. It's 2.34 for 7.